Okay, uh, welcome back. I'm going to discuss this um, endo case here, um, tooth number 18. Um, I want to walk through this case with you. Let me give you a little background. This um, patient um, had presented initially with pain in tooth number 18. Um, it had been long standing, irritating her for quite a while. We're talking about, you know, months, maybe even longer than that. Um, and it's, it came to a point where it was really starting to interfere with her daily life. Ibuprofen wasn't cutting it, constant ache. So um, we opted to take a look at it. You know, pulp testing, um, no percussion sensitivity, but hyper, hyper cold sensitivity, really intense cold sensitivity. So um, I wasn't sure what was going on, so I ordered a 3D x-ray. Now, we don't have a cone beam in the office, so she went to another office and had a cone beam done. Um, I wanted to see what the root canal anatomy looked like before I jumped into it. And to be honest, we thought she might have a root fracture based on uh, the way she was uh, complaining of pain when she bit in certain specific ways and not constant pain on biting. So um, we wanted to rule that out. So I didn't see any root fractures in the x-ray or the cone beam, um, but this was a really interesting case. So she's got a small mouth and she's also in active ortho treatment recently. Um, so we went ahead and, you know, anesthetized her, got her really numb, and I opened and accessed into this tooth. Well, the challenge is her mouth's very small, and again, there are brackets up here in the way. So um, one of the issues, one of the difficulties that uh, we came across was um, getting the handpiece um, around and in that area in, in a way that I could actually access the canals. So I attempted this root canal twice, and I'll show you the x-rays um, here. Uh, the first attempt was about an hour and a half, which is a lot longer than I normally take um, for just a root canal. Normally m my root canals are less than an hour um, unless we run into some challenges. Um, but with her, because of the access and the difficulty in getting there, um, it took a very long time. And uh, upon completion of the first attempt, which was about a week ago, um, you know, the radiograph was not ideal there was a uh, incomplete um, obturation of the distal canal space. We got one of the canals, but the second canal, um, I was unable to, to get an instrument into. I couldn't see it. <clears throat> I couldn't even see an, an opening. I could not see where the distal, you see right here, now we can see two canals here. Um, I could not find where the canals separated. I couldn't get into it and I couldn't get the instruments in there to actually get into the separate distal canals. The medials were no problem, and, and the larger buccal canal was fine. I just could not get into that lingual canal for the life of me. So I disinfected it for a very long time with sodium hypochlorite and BioPure in hopes that the disinfection and um, good solid obturation of what we could get into would be adequate. Um, that night, she was in no pain, but the next day she started to develop pain again, similar to what she'd had before. So we knew we had to go back into it. So a couple of days ago, I opened back into it, um, and the initial obturation actually guided me into the canal space that had not been completed. So I literally took my Wave 1 files after I had removed most of the gutta percha, I'm down just the distal, I didn't remove the mesials, they were in good shape, down just the distal, and I could see the sealer um, where it was inside where it was actually kind of following that untreated canal space, or unobtreated. Um, so I was able to eventually get my um, hand instrument, my size 10 hand file, uh, to engage that canal. We got a working length and we went ahead and filled it up. It was a very interesting case, quite a challenge um, for me, um, likely the most challenging root canal I've ever done. <laughs> Um, anyway, it was uh, it was interesting because she was able to uh, uh, go through two root canals without too much grief, um, but now she's totally out of pain. The pain has not recurred, has not come back. Um, but interesting root anatomy. There's some really unique curvatures on those teeth. So yeah, interesting, interesting case. Um, good. Um, good case. Uh, you know, like I said, one of the most challenging cases I've ever done. Not sure that I'll do it again. 
like I said, uh, it's probably a little bit outside of my pay grade um, to do these repeatedly. Uh, real challenging, interesting though, but very challenging. You know, you can see the presentation with all this extra dense bone, uh, long-term irritation, a little bit of PDL widening down here on the distal. So we found it, we got it. Hopefully, she'll have a long-term, excuse me, long-term recovery. Um, without any recurrence of uh, symptoms or, or other issues. So that's all I got for you. Thanks.